All right, look up, look way up. A Russian startup company wants to put advertisements in the night sky called Start Rocket. The concept will use satellites to reflect light from the sun and use that light to create logos that would be visible to people back on Earth. Keep watching, you'll see how it comes together. Now this comes as many other companies are also looking to more radical ideas, trying to get their brands noticed. So joining us this morning for a look at some of these concepts is marketing expert, Ron Tite. Good to have you back with us. Yeah, good to be here. All right, first of all, how how would this work? And wouldn't you have loved to have been in the room when someone's like, where else can we advertise our stuff? <laughs> oh, in the sky. Yeah, yeah, well that is the point, right? That advertisers are stuck in this, uh, you know, this clutter loop where nothing is standing out. And so they're, they're desperate for, to fill any space that hasn't been filled with ads uh, to, just, to just get noticed. So in this case, what they're doing is they're sending mini satellites up into the sky, reflecting light back as a pixel. And you know, when you combine pixels, you can do logos and you can do messaging. So, so that's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to send messaging up to space. This sounds like a simple question, but who owns that space? Well, I don't know. I mean, this is where you get, you get into some interesting legislative uh, this is issues. This how, like, newspapers and publications make their money, is selling ad space. Yep. So is this free space? Well, I, you know, what's interesting is that in that traditional relationship between advertising and content, the advertising has a role to play, mm -hmm. and then it subsidizes the content. Yeah. That's what the consumer gets out of this. Just cluttering up the sky, <laughs> I don't know that there's any really added value for the consumer uh, there's more value for the brand than it is for the consumer. Oh, you're making some people mad over their breakfast this morning. All right, while the <laughs> technology is not available yet, this is fascinating. A lot of experts believe that companies are starting to look to new frontiers, like your dreams, everyone, to push Ooh. their products. In fact, you brought some video with you. Uh, yep. An animated film company, Smack, created a concept of what it believes dream advertisements could look like. They use Coca-Cola as an example. Have a look. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me want to drink Coke or not drink Coke, but what do you make of this idea of getting into people's subconscious? Well, uh, you know, it's something that you'd have to do and tread very lightly, right? Because who knows what the effect, we've heard of acid flashbacks. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't want a brand flashback in 20 years, um, but it's, certainly you'd have to do it with full transparency. And I, I, don't, I mean, who knows whether it would work. I think some brands would sign up just for the stunt aspect of it, right? Sure. To be the first to do it. Um, but at the end, like all advertising, where it, what, how it will be defined is, does it work? Wow. Does it actually drive consumption or acquisition of new customers? All right, another aspect of marketing, of course, is the counter marketing. And yes. there's a company that wants to actually create something to block the ads that you might see in the sky. Yep. Yeah, there was this organization that created these, these glasses called ad blockers, but they're almost like beta blockers. Remember those big yes. you know, yes. sunglasses? Yes, beta um, blockers. The, the issue with this is that it's really getting to, uh, more difficult to distinguish advertising from content. That the separation of church and state no longer exists. So, uh, you, you know, these glasses are blocking out not advertising, but they're blocking out all displays. Well, of course on displays, there's a lot of great stuff on displays. There's news on displays, there's sports on displays. Right now, this show is on displays in, in, a, in a bunch of different places. So, coming up with technology that just blocks ads is increasingly difficult. Because more and more, you know, uh, any piece of ad can be a great piece of content, and any piece of content can actually be an ad if it's responsible enough. This is fascinating. Ron, always good to have you with us. Likewise, thanks for having me. All right, now it's in my head.